Hello good day viewers, still on definite integral. Today we are going to integrate these two functions. We have e to the 2x dx from 0 to 1 and we have x cubed minus 2x plus 4 from negative 1 down to 1. Alright, let's start with this one. You know, integrating exponential function will result to the exponential function, but you have to divide by the derivative of the exponent 2x. So this is equal to um, e to the 2x, but make sure to divide by the derivative of that uh, exponent, which is going to give us 2. Our boundary is from what? 0 to 1. Let's substitute the boundaries. We have e to the 2x, 2 times 1, divided by 2. The minus um, e to the 2 times 0, that is the lower boundary still divide by 2. This is equal to e to the power of 2 divided by 2 minus 2 times 0 is 0. Then e to the 0 is 1. So we have 1 divided by 2. If you like, you join them together. We have e to the power of 2 minus 1 divided by 2. And hence, this is the area under the curve e to the 2x from 0 to 1. Let's move to the other one. Let's integrate this one. If you integrate x to the power of 3, it becomes x to the power of 4, divided by 4, minus. If you integrate x, it becomes x squared divided by 2. And that 2 will cancel this 2, so we only have x squared. Then plus 4x from negative 1 to positive 1. So let's substitute upper and the lower limits. When x is 1, we have 1 to the power of 4. 1 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 1 squared plus 4 multiplied by 1. Then the whole of this, you should subtract the lower limit. That is when we have negative 1. We have negative 1 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus negative 1 squared plus 4 multiplied by negative 1. Let's simplify this and this separately. We have 1 divided by 4. We have um, negative 1. We have 4. So we have 4 minus 1, which is 3. So we have 1 over 4 uh, plus 3 here minus negative 1 to the power of 4 is, negative, is positive 1 divided by 4. We have 1 over 4. Negative 1 squared is still 1. Negative times 1 is negative 1. Then 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 1, negative 4 is negative 5. And moving. Let's see. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So we have 13 over 4. And then minus. This time this 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 plus 1 um, is negative 19. So I think the whole of this will be positive 19 because of this negative outside, and we have another negative inside. So we have uh, 13 plus 19, I think is 32. So we have 32 divided by four. We can reduce this to the lowest term because um, 32 can divide four exactly eight times. So the area is now equal to eight, as simple as that. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.